Hi, my name is Renya. Welcome to the Stitch of Nature channel. Today we're gonna do this super cute Belmont Scally cap. It can be a perfect gift for any baby. It's gonna look adorable. You can find this pattern or any of my original patterns on Etsy or Ivory. Just search Stitch of Nature. I will leave the links down in the description for you. Okay, let's get started. The skill level for this uh, hat is intermediate because I use several stitches. You will have to know uh, how to work a half double crochet, single crochet and front post single crochet. Also you will need to know how to do the decreases which is uh, work two half double crochet together or increases to work two half double crochet in one stitch. Other than that the hat is pretty easy. For this project, for the Belmont Scully cap, I'm using uh, Vanna's Choice yarn size 4, medium size 4, or worsted uh, weight yarn, and I'm also using hook 5, 5 millimeter hook. Uh, this color is called Barley, but you can choose a different color if you wish. So I'm gonna start the project with uh, Magic Ring. And I'm going to work 16 half double crochet in the magic ring. Chain one, chain two, and work 16 half double crochet in the magic ring. I like this technique uh, because I can simply pull the short tail and close my circle and I can close it completely without leaving any holes. So now I'm gonna slip stitch in the top of the first half double crochet to join my circle. Here's my first row. Second row calls for for the sequence of two half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch. We're gonna repeat it eight times and I'm gonna start with the very first stitch, the one that I work slip stitch to join and I'm gonna work two half double crochet in that first stitch. and one half double crochet in the next stitch. And I'm gonna repeat around eight times. So you have double crochet and one half double crochet in the next stitch. Again, two half double crochet in the next stitch and one half double crochet in the next stitch. And I'm gonna slip stitch in the first half double crochet 
to join. This is our second round and in our second round we have 24 stitches. In the third round we are going to chain two and then we're gonna work half double crochet in the next two stitches and two half double crochet in the next stitch. So we're gonna start with the first stitch, work one half double crochet in this stitch, then one half double crochet in the next stitch, and then we're gonna work two half double crochet in the next stitch. And this is our sequence that we're gonna repeat all around eight times. Half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch, and two half double crochet in the next stitch. and slip stitch to join. Here's our third round and in the third round we're gonna, we have 32 stitches. In the fourth round we're gonna chain two and then we're gonna work a sequence of two half double crochet in the next stitch and half double crochet in the next three stitches. So two half double crochet in this very first stitch. And then three. And half double crochet in the next three stitches. And this is the sequence to repeat in this round. Two half double crochet in the next stitch and half double crochet in the next three stitches and slip stitch to join. In this round we have 40 stitches. In the fifth round I'm gonna start with 
working half double crochet in the next two stitches. And then two half double crochet in the next stitch. And then I'm gonna start working the sequence of the round and this is half double crochet in the next four stitches to half double crochet in the next stitch. So one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. And then two half double crochet in the next stitch. And we have two last stitches left, a half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And slip stitch to join. Fifth round is completed and it has 48 stitches. Sixth round, we chain two. We're gonna work a half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. And then we're gonna work two half double crochet increase in the next stitch. And then we're gonna work half double crochet in the next five stitches. Five and two half double crochet in the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat the round half double crochet in the next five stitches. And you have the block crochet in the next three, four, five, two double crochet increase.
and we have one last stitch left after this increase and we're gonna work half double crochet in that stitch and slip stitch to join the sixth round is completed and we have 56 stitches in the seventh round we're gonna repeat a sequence of half double crochet in the next six stitches and two half double crochet in the next stitch so we're gonna chain two and work six half double crochet in each of the next six stitches so one half double crochet in each stitch one more and then two half double crochet in the next stitch and i'm gonna repeat around half double crochet in the next six stitches And two half double crochet in the next stitch. and work a slip stitch to join at the end so here's the seventh round, seventh round and we have 64 stitches total in the eighth round we're gonna work two half double crochet in the first stitch and then half double crochet in each of the next seven stitches so chain two to have double, double crochet increase and then have double crochet in each of the next seven stitches And again, two half double crochet in the next stitch and half double crochet in each of the next seven stitches.
as usual at the end slip stitch to join so in the eighth round we're gonna have 72 stitches and uh, for the size I'm making which is zero to three months uh, 72 stitches at the end of the increase the ninth round we're just gonna work a half double crochet in each stitch around there is no more increases just one half double crochet in each stitch This is how the top of the scala cap looks. We're making size zero to three months. In the next three rounds, we're gonna do decreases. In round 10, uh, we're gonna work uh, half double crochet two together and then half double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. So we're gonna start by working two half double crochet together. and then half double crochet in each of the next seven stitches And we're going to repeat the sequence all around two half double crochet together and half double crochet in each of the next seven stitches The round is finished and we're going to work a slip stitch in the first stitch of the previous of this round and in this round in round 10 we have um, 64 stitches so we reduced by eight stitches in the 11th round we're going to change two as usual and then we're gonna work a half double crochet in the next stitch and two half double crochet together and then we're gonna work a sequence of half double crochet in each of the next six stitches and two half double crochet together two more five and six and two half double crochet together again half double crochet in the next six stitches 
two, three, four, five and six, and to have double crochet together. And we're going to end up with working five, half double crochet at the end, or half double crochet in each of the last five stitches. And slip stitch to join. Round 11 is completed and it has 56 uh, stitches at the end. In the round 12, which is the last round, we're going to chain two and then we're going to work a half double crochet in the next two stitches and two half double crochet together. Half double crochet in the next two stitches. And two half double crochet together. Next, we're going to work half double crochet in the next five stitches and work two half double crochet together. One, two, three, four, five. And two half double crochet together. One, two, three, four, five. And two half double crochet put together. And we, we will end the round with half double crochet in each of the last three stitches. And then slip stitch to join. And in this last round we have 48 stitches total. The cap is done. So now we're going to work the brim and the brim is worked in rows, not rounds. And in rows uh, three, five and seven, we'll be uh, making thicker rows, but I will explain as we go. So to start, we will work with the same hook and we will work single crochet in each of the next 15 stitches.
15. So now we're going to work a front post single crochet around the, each of the next 18 stitches. So front post, single crochet, one, two, three, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. And these eighteen stitches actually gonna be a stitch the stitches of the brim. So this is this is our brim, this 18 stitches. The second round, we're gonna turn, and we're not gonna chain any stitches. We're just gonna work slip stitches in each of these 18 stitches of the first round. Okay, so I worked six, uh, 18 slip stitches. In this row, the next the third row, we're gonna turn our work and chain one or chain one and turn work, whichever order you like it in. So I usually chain one and then I turn. Uh, we're gonna make thicker row. We're gonna make, uh, we're gonna work over the second row into the stitches of the first row to make it thicker for this we're going to insert the hook a little bit lower so we're not working in the second row because of just slip stitches and we're going to work single crochet in each of these 18 stitches that we have so since uh, the first row was uh, front post single crochet then i have to kind of insert my hook in between the posts. So you can feel that the stitches are thicker. Eighteen. So this is the row three. Row three is completed. In the fourth row, we basically repeat the second row. So I'm going to turn, and I'm going to work a slip stitch in each stitch across. And all 
way you can stitch it. So now I'm gonna chain one and turn. Row five, a lot is happening in row five. Uh, we're still gonna work over uh, the fourth row into the stitches of the third row to make a thicker row for the brim. But also we're gonna be doing rounded edges and we're gonna be doing increases in the middle. So we're gonna skip the first stitch and we're gonna insert the hook lower. You can see in the stitches of the third row working over the stitches of the fourth. So I'm gonna work one single crochet Two, three, four, five. So I worked five single crochet stitches. So now I'm going to work two single crochet in each of the next six stitches. Okay, here is our increase in the middle. And now I'm going to work a single crochet in each of the next four stitches. I'm still making a thick row. Three, four, and I have two stitches at the end that I'm going to crochet together to make a round rounded edge two single crochet together here's the row five and all together we have 22 stitches so we went from 18 stitches to 22 because we decreased a couple stitches at each end and we uh, added six stitches in the middle in row six we're gonna turn and we're gonna work a slip stitch slip stitch in each stitch across by working this round we just add extra thickness each even round it doesn't add any length to the brim it just adds extra thickness row seven so i'm gonna chain one and turn i will continue to work over the previous round into the stitches of the fifth round and i will continue to make round edges so i'm gonna skip the first stitch and i'm gonna work a stick single crochet in the next stitch and i'm gonna work a single crochet across to the last two stitches all together we'll have 19 single crochets
so here I worked 19 single crochet stitches and I have two last stitches left so I'm gonna work two single crochet together to create a rounder edge you can see it looks nice and round so this is the last row of the brim for this size so next step we're gonna work a slip stitch along the edge it's a little bit harder step but we need to bring our yarn all the way to the base so we're just gonna work slip stitches along the edge just find somewhere to insert your hook bring your stitches all the way down to the base around this edge and now when I'm at the base I'm gonna work a single crochet in each of the 15 stitches we have all the way back to this joining seam And I'm gonna work slip stitch to join. Here our hat is almost done. To finish it completely, we're gonna work a row, or I would say a round of single crochet all the way around. And by this I mean all the way around uh, the edge of the hat and the brim and all the way back to this joining seam. This is where we're gonna um, fasten off invisibly and I'll show you how to do that too so I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna work a single crochet in each stitch around and all the way around the brim this last round of single crochet will uh, make the edge look a lot cleaner and it will bring the head and the brim together So now when I reached the uh, joining seam, I can either slip stitch to join, just like that, and then break the yarn and uh, sew in the loose end, or I, as I promised you, I can show you how to fasten off invisibly. For that, I don't need to slip stitch to join. So to fasten off invisibly, we'll just pull the slope through and I'm gonna cut yarn and pull it all the way through. And we need a yarn needle for that. So we're gonna we're gonna thread this yarn through the needle. And then we're gonna find this first first single crochet of this round and we're gonna insert the needle from the front to the back pull through and then we're gonna find the last stitch we made and we're gonna insert right in And pull the needles all the way through and we just created a new loop and this way it always looks so clean like there is no seam whatsoever so now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna bring my yarn a little bit up a little bit higher and I'm just gonna make 
a little knot to secure and then I'm gonna take my needle through the fabric of the hat pull through so I hide my knot and then I'm gonna cut it off and it looks very clean inside and outside and uh, here is the scala cap is done we made size zero to three months for a little baby this is how it looks i think it's cute well thanks for watching i hope this video was helpful i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you come back i will have more videos coming up soon see you then